Oh, another Dark Horse book. Let's talk about Age of Reptiles. I've got the Age of Reptiles Omnibus here by Richard Delgado. Another amazing book crafted like completely by one person i think delgado did everything including the colors on this and 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 he did the writing including but you know as you're going to see there's no dialogue at all in this this is a completely silent uh, pantomime if you will nature documentary with some of the best dinosaur drawings most highly researched and best dinosaur drawings and action scenes you're ever going to see in full color, no less. Trying to take into account modern paleontological theories about dinosaur colors, maybe being different than, you know, more colorful like bird feathers that they evolved into. So let's dive a little bit deeper into age reptiles. Richard Delgado. I follow his Facebook feed and I've reached out to him too, but I can't even get a ping back from him. He does a lot in Hollywood with Hollywood production design and movies and stuff. But my first and favorite and the only thing I really care about is his awesome dinosaur comics. I had uh, Steve Bissett in here and we talked to him about. Um, sorry, we talked to him about this stuff. And uh, and his dinosaur comic tyrant, right? And I said, who wins in a cage fight between Steve Bissett and Richard Delgado? And uh, he's like, I don't care, Dan. He's so great like that. It's no contest. And I'm just going to say if the war is how many pages he produced, uh, Delgado uh, point score one for Delgado, let's just say, you know, where Steve Bissett is so hyper focused, and his original voc vision was to like take a dinosaur from birth to death, um, and show us everything in between, including uh, like how the egg and the yolk develop and stuff. Like he went into such insane detail that like we barely got to Pirate Being Born by issue three. Delgado knows that we got to have some dinosaur action and pacing. Uh, action right away so usually these stories are set up as like sort of uh, sort of a war between two factions of dinosaurs or two species of dinosaurs and it's i don't really even need to say anything i can just sort of leaf through this stuff and you can see um yeah shadow punk i agree it is gorgeous it's some of the best dinosaur stuff you're ever going to see. Went in here a little. Um, and I'm just going to go through and let you soak it in. And it's in beautiful color. Now, this is one of those situations. This is one of those dark horse omnibuses. So the thing that's a kind of a shame about it is the trim size. I get it's for bookstores and stuff, but it's smaller than a regular comic. And really what we need for this is like an oversized treatment, right? This is like a prestige format, but the regular comic book dimensions. This will fit in a comic book bag or whatever. This looks great on a shelf. Nice, thick spine. It's great. I'm not going to complain that I have this, but it's one where the original single issues are so worth having. They lie flat, nice color and everything else. Speaking of color, like noticing again, just the gorgeous beauty that he puts into um, each and every panel. I want to see colors. Okay, colors for Tribal Warfare and The Hunt were by James Sinclair. Looks like the color concepts, though, for, are from Delgado, too. So, like, the color guides of how the dinosaurs should look are from Delgado. Um, but then he brought in a top-notch colorist to do the work, and it looks great. This is some nice early computer coloring. They're using the gradients and stuff, but using them subtly and effectively in a way that I think looks really nice. Look at that. Yeah, I agree, Shadow Punk. It's the details plus the graphic feel. So well done. Completely. And, and it's also, yeah, 
the let's look at just the page layout. Let's look at the emotion captured for in a in a reptiles in reptile faces that tell a story. Let's look at the panel to panel action to action progression that makes it just feel like we're there in a nature documentary. You can go into any panel and you get great detail, but then you pull it back and it's a beautifully composed, incredibly easy to read comic. You know, usually no more than four or five panels per page. Occasionally more when it's called for. But given enough room, a lot of widescreen full width panels, a lot of that gives it this widescreen comics feel like Mark Millar talked about and Brian Hitch talked about when he was on the show. Look at this and go into full splash page with just a reaction inset here. I think this gives it a, um, a really kind of a cinematic feel. This is a big part of what captures that cinematic feel and makes this feel like an IMAX nature documentary or something. You know what I mean? Really great stuff. There's gags and jokes. I'm just going to keep going through this thing. It's it's. I had almost forgotten about the beauty. He's got moments of like quiet moments of, of, of grace and these beautiful scenes. I think, do, did he create it for kids? I don't, I think he created, he is a big kid when it comes to dinosaurs and everybody is. And I think this is, if you saw the movie, the Disney movie Dinosaur, where they had the opportunity to do something like this, but decided to make it more like um, kids friendly, uh, family friendly kind of fair. Um That didn't, that wasn't good. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. What is good? What is good is these beautiful dinosaur comics. I'll bring in my robot pal here to take a look, too. Um, just look at, I mean, I don't think there's a better, I really think Delgado is the master. I think this is truly all ages stuff that you could show to anybody. Uh, any kids, it is bloody and gory. And, but what are you going to do? It's dinosaurs, right? They're carnivores are ripping each other apart. Um, but there's no extreme viscera shown or whatever, whatever you want to call it. So I think it's, um, I think it is absolutely great for kids. Look at that. I love the choices of colors the purples and stuff really makes them feel like tropical birds more than anything. What happened here? I lost a camera or something. I got, I got technical ish issues in effect. Yeah. Wow. What's going on with this thing? I think I may need to, get a new camera one of these days guys i'll get it going it's all right we'll keep talking about dinosaurs till i get this thing sorted out it'll probably take a second i think i probably kicked a wire Look at this. I love the blue brontosaurus. Just, just colors and choices we haven't seen before because why not? Why not just make it visually colorful and appealing in this way? I think it's worth doing for sure. And just, you know, gives us a vision like, I don't know. We haven't seen. Like I said, this was, bef this was post Jurassic Park for sure, but before that dinosaur movie um, from Disney. And just look at the cool designs, all researched and real, like real paleontological uh, research went into making Age of Reptiles. It's so, oh God, I could, there's hundreds of pages here, guys, and I could go through them all because 
there's not a bad page among them. Man. Oh, man. And he did multiple series that really chronicled um, just some great stuff, unforgettable stories. And these are gripping, easy to read, and, like, really gripping. They read fast, obviously, because there's not a lot of words. But, man, you can just go back and sink your eyes into the into the crazy <clears throat> details as much as you want. I'm going to highly recommend uh, Age of Reptiles to you, I think. And uh, 